question, have you ever been to the ocean? And then what lives in the ocean? Um, during the reading, we, uh, we're going to have text to spell connection, go over the vocabulary, um, if any of the vocabulary words connect to the standard at that time. So we have an example of standard uh, compound words, and we're going to ask questions. the students to go into a small group oh, or um, sorry discussion and just what they learn about the book uh, if they connect to themselves or the story to themselves uh, text to text text to self and then check for the setting of vocabulary and go back to the guided reading questions. Awesome, thank you. Let's give them a hand. We would uh, read the title and then have them repeat after me. And then we would engage in a call discussion about uh, their community, where they live, what's around them, and what they like to do for fun. And then after that, I would introduce, uh, the, introduce the strategy of retelling the story. And then we would go over our comprehension skill, would be um, finding out what the main idea of the story is. And then I would introduce the vocabulary and our diary questions. Um, and during reading, I would have the uh, students read one page at a time. That way I can um, successfully and effectively hear each student um, read and make sure that we check for understanding at certain points. Uh, I make sure that I stop either after we hear or have the students check for vocab words, stop there to um, define the words, and then also check the words would be, um, the book is called I Live in the City, so we check for the words live, many people, play, and walk. Um, and then I would actually stop at other points of the book or pages that they're reading and model the retail test, uh, reading strategy for them and then have them retell the story or the page that they're reading to another student. <clears throat> so for um, after reading, I would um, uh, get the student reflections on, on the, the text. <clears throat> And um, see, um, get their input in regards to the guided question, um, uh, any relevance to their own lives. Um, also, have the students identify the author's purpose in writing the text. Um, if it's an informative piece, or even if it's like an op ed, you know, try to change the position of the reader. And just have the students identify the main idea. And then for an exception activity, I just have them hold a piece of paper in half, have them draw a picture of where they live, and then underneath say, I live in. La, 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 la. And then on the other half, say, uh, like, draw a picture of what they like to do in or around their home. And underneath, say, I like to, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the book that we're doing is I Live in the City. And I'll be doing the before reading part. So it's definitely, you know, introduce the name and say who the author is. But also go over, like, us as students, do they live in the city? Do they like the city? And uh, also questions like, have they ever been to any museum? What kind of things they like in the museum? What's their favorite place to go to in the city? Uh, that, I think, is all for the before reading part. And for the dairy reading, I make sure I go over the reading strategy, which is retail. And also, I'll be going over the vocabulary words while I'm reading it. And I'll make sure uh, I'll be animated while I'm reading it. And uh, after certain pages, uh, I go over the reading strategy, which is retell, and I'll make sure students discuss uh, what they've read, so I make uh, so they so I understand that they understand. What they're reading. And for after reading, I'll have the students in partners, and they're going to retell the story because that's their strategy. So they're going to retell this, um, the story they read, and then after they're going to be talking about their city, what they like, and what things they like to go see, and stuff they want to do in their city. And then for the extended um, learning activity, 
I would have my students um, learn their address. Uh, a lot of the second graders, this is a level H book, and a lot of the second graders don't, um, they can even tell you the phone number mm -hmm. or their address, and they mention an address in the book. So I would have them um, memorize their addresses and maybe even during the center, like how to memorize their phone number. That's it. Thank you.
And after reading, I would ask them questions. I would uh, engage my students. I would, uh, personally, I would like to, for, uh, to do an uh, engaging activity in which I would print out a map of my city or of their city and be able to, to uh, highlight the different places in my city, like the local grocery store, the schools, the library, the fire department place, just so they could have a well-rounded idea of where they live. And uh, I would actually ask them you know, questions such as, how does this book connect to your personal life, like connect it to, to another, to your life, and connect it to, to, the, to another text or connect it to the world? So this is what I would do after reading uh, the book with the kids. And then as an extension activity, um, these ones I've already mentioned, so you could also have them plan, um, pretend like they have a friend or relative coming in from out of town and plan um, a day um, and what they'd like to show their friend or relative from out of town around their city and highlight the different things that they'd like to do. <laughs> So it's um, a lot more extensive, a lot more activities to do. Um, for the before reading, I would first activate the parallel knowledge, and that would be just one day. Um, I would write Kinta on the board, for example, and then I would ask, what do you know about the Egyptian pharaoh? Um, then I would show the students the cover of the book and you know, discuss um, how royalty lived in Egypt, just to kind of set the stage about that in India. Um, then like on, a, on the next day, I would also so, show them the map of you know, Egypt so we could relate. Uh, another day I would introduce vocabulary, um, um, definitely go over how to look up words in the dictionary, stuff like that. And then another day, introduce the, the actual book, you know, like a picture walk, go over the cover, the title, the author, back cover, um, and then kind of go over Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> and then for during the reading, since uh, it's a higher level book and it's a lot more information, I would break the story into three or four sections, um, model and identify the main idea and the details, write the main idea on the board, and stop throughout the story and ask them comprehension questions as well. Okay, and for after the reading, I would have the students complete a KWL chart that's um, what they know, just already based off of the cover what they want to know, because kids have a lot of questions, you know, probably before or during the reading, and what they learned at the very end. So what if they learned what they didn't know before? I would also review vocabulary words, because if we're going to do it as a class, if everybody's following along, the students can highlight words with some of you guys said before, or underline or circle them, and we can go over them as a class. And also try to practice vocabulary words and sentences by using, um, like, the decoding <laughs> strategies and context clues so that way they can see the words in um, a different area and actually using them in sentences. Okay, uh, for the extended uh, reading or learning, um, we will actually do a, a writing report on the computer lab maybe. Um, they will have to look up a young pharaoh and they'll have to type up the report, pretty much make their own book. Um, have them do a, a glossary um, table of contents, uh, make a front and back cover. Um, also, they have just, I know they have discussion cards. I will use the discussion cards for maybe a journal entry. They first maybe answer the question on their own, write it down, and then use that same card and have them just make a, start a discussion. Instead of me having to start it, they read out the question aloud and try to engage the other students to uh, participate in answering that question. Um, we also, I also, I saw that we can uh, connect it to the menu lesson. Um, I'm doing sentence structure with the kids. So have them highlight complex uh, sentences, you know, and um, identify the independent and uh, dependent clauses and the conjunctions. Um, and then I actually added an art activity, meet my mummy. Um, maybe create their own mummy, look up a young pharaoh or the pharaoh that they use on their report. Use an index card, have them write down the pharaoh name, and a short history description of the pharaoh.